no Sexton, Healy, Earls, Rossburn, and 11 capped players. I mean, can you talk about maybe the fellows who are not there plus the fellows who are there? Yeah, of course. Um, well, first of, first and foremost, it's an exciting squad, you know. Uh, what, what are we after? We're after, one, as always, developing our game, and two, developing the depth of, uh, of, of the squad that we've got. We've got a, we've got a massive international uh, calendar next year, and uh, we, we want to give people an opportunity to, to, uh, to, grab, to grab hold of uh, a couple of weeks uh, at the end of the season against a, a great side in, in, in Japan and a USA game the following week, that's, uh, that's going to be challenging for, for many newcomers. You know, it's, it's exciting for, for lads that have been there and done that, that they, they'll step into a more senior role, hopefully. We'll see how they develop there. It's nice to see some lads back who've been out of the system uh, internationally for, for quite some time. And it's it's uh, it's even nicer to to uh, um, to see young lads or new lads come into the camp for the first time, and and they'll find out what international rugby is all about. Can you talk about the the fact or how easy was it to talk to fellows like Johnny Sexton and Keane Healy and tell them that you were uh, I once not considering them, but that they weren't going to be involved. No, very easy because there's a there's a there's a there's a plan behind it, and the reason the reason for that um, is I, I suppose it gives opportunities to other lads first and foremost, and these lads uh, understand that uh, the competitive nature uh, won't totally agree with that. But at the same time, um, for them to have uh, uh, proper rest that they need within a pre-season, and on top of that, come back and have a proper pre-season where they can make gains. Uh, with the, with the, the body and come back, come back into the start of next season with with the fire burning rapidly is is, is going to benefit us all in the long run. Um, just to put context to that, uh, for the lads that play through with us and obviously the Lions lads, that means that they start pre season a, a lot later than than others. Um, for for Johnny, Kian, and uh, Keith, and a few other lads as well, they'll now probably get eight stroke nine weeks of a pre season which they can certainly make some gains with. Other lads will probably get four stroke five. Um, so uh, there's, a, there's a reason behind that logic. Can you talk to us about the out halves that are there? Um, obviously, Joey Carberry back in and um, Harry getting in and no Ross Byrne as well then. Yeah, um, again, it's, it's, it's um, bringing back, back people into the fold and, uh, and, and seizing an opportunity why there is an opportunity to, to take Sinead. Um, uh, obviously, Joey's been out of the system for quite some time. Uh, you don't get many windows like this one to, to be able to give people time. And we all know at international level, uh, we need to find out, especially in those type of positions, the half pipe positions, whether whether a player can come in and uh, and run the ship um, straight from work goal. You know, so to give uh, Joey that opportunity. In fact, Joey's been playing really well of late, and his last game was his was his best. Harry's been um, been injured um, quite a bit um, um, uh, during the season, but he's back to fitness now, and we've been wanting to give him some time, some exposure, and uh, and this is the right time to do that. As far as Ross is concerned, I suppose he's in the same same boat as uh, say a Jack Carty or a Luke McGrath or Kieran Marmion, uh, etc. Those guys have been in, uh, done great jobs for us in the past. They'll take a rest or be on standby to, 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 come, back, to come back in and uh, they'll hit the ground running next year.